I've been on vacation for two days at a hotel close to the beach. Everything was going fine until some weird stuff started to happen. This afternoon, I was reading on my room's terrace when I heard the door open, and I am traveling alone. The first thing that crossed my mind was that it would be a member of the hotel staff. That's happened before. At least today I have my pants on. But no. When I went into the room, I found a tall, skinny man. He looked very nervous and was pacing around. I shat myself a little. He was moving so fast, he seemed to be scouring the room or something. Dunno. I spoke to him and he looked at me. That made me less tense because when we made eye contact, he didn't look aggressive. He was mostly disoriented. He had a sad gaze. I came close to him and he grabbed me firmly by the arm. He started to speak very fast, but I couldn't make sense of what he was saying. At first I thought he was speaking a language I couldn't recognize, but soon I started to understand a few words. He spoke Spanish, but the words were in the wrong order. Some sentences began correctly, but rapidly deteriorated. Like a Yoda at a thousand miles per hour, stumbling over his words. I tried to calm him down, but failed. He shouted something at me, turned around, and before leaving, I noticed that he was carrying a card, just like the one I used to enter my room. A card like this one. I locked the room and sat on the couch for a while. Later I hid my valuables and went down to reception. I explained what happened. I told him what my first thought was, that maybe he was the previous guest and was staying in the same room. They said it was an unusual thing to happen, but not impossible. Every time a guest checks out, they reset the access card, but maybe. The person in charge forgot to do so. That's if he was actually a hotel guest. I described what he looked like, but he didn't have any remarkable features. He was tall, skinny, short-haired, a bit tanned. The receptionist told me to turn around, that he was behind me. Of course he was there. Half the guys in the reception matched that description. We laughed. To make sure this doesn't happen again, they changed my card and reset access to my room. I've been here since then. But this isn't the only strange thing that happened today. I also lost this t-shirt. I've come to eat breakfast in the hotel buffet and just passed the tall man. He is here at another table. When I passed him, he greeted me and apologized. This time I understood him because he spoke calmly, placing words in the right order. He said he entered my room by mistake, that he is staying in the same hotel, and that he was sorry for scaring me earlier. Don't worry, everything's fine. He said a few times with a smile on his face that couldn't have looked more fake. Whatever, I don't know. I think I'm more scared now than when I found him in my room all crazy. At least yesterday he seemed human. Today he's robotic. I'm going to try to take a photo of him. Okay, it's this guy. I was out all morning. When I came back, the room was made and this was on the bathroom floor. It's a black pencil. Used. It's not mine. I didn't bring any pencils with me. I've checked the room, but I can't see anything else new or missing. At any other time, I think that the cleaner dropped it, but after what happened yesterday, I don't know what to think anymore. Since some of you asked, I want to clarify this. The pencil isn't mine or like the ones I normally use. I'm going for a walk. Okay, I might be a bit biased because of what happened yesterday, but something strange happened again this afternoon. I took a walk on the beach to the end of a walkway. It's not far from the shore, but the views from the part over the water are cool. It's normally full of people taking pictures. I stayed there a while, and when I turned around, I saw this. You can't really tell in the picture because he is against the light, but on the right, there's the tall man next to another guy. Don't know how long they were there for, but I would swear that they were standing still, staring at me. It's these two guys. I started to walk towards them, and at that moment they turned around and started to walk towards the shore. I tried following them, but since I had the sun in my face and there were a lot of people when I reached the shore, I couldn't tell where they went. But this wasn't the strangest thing. The weirdest thing was that the guy next to the tall man was wearing the t-shirt I lost yesterday. For those of you who are concerned about me, I'm still alive. Yesterday, I went back to the hotel and ordered something from room service for dinner. I've been hanging around here since then. I've been thinking about it and maybe I went a little crazy. There must be a logical explanation for all this. 
Perhaps the two men I saw yesterday weren't the same ones who entered my room or stole my t-shirt. I had the sun in my face when I saw them, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe I saw what I wanted to see. I'm going to the beach for a swim. I need to clear my mind. Okay, something happened. I was swimming, and when I got out of the water, I saw someone sitting on the sand, wearing the t-shirt I lost. I think it's the same guy who was staring at me yesterday from the walkway, who was next to the tall man. This time he didn't seem to be staring at me. He was sitting far away from me, looking at the sea. I left my cell phone at the hotel, and I gave it a bit of thought. Perhaps I should go back to get it. Or stalk him, or... I don't know. I went back to the hotel. He didn't seem to be leaving anytime soon, and the hotel is close to the beach. I want to document all of this. When I returned with my cell phone, he was gone. Luckily, this area isn't very big. I looked around for a while and managed to find him. He was sitting in a bar. I took a couple of pictures of him. I'm going to stay around. I'll make sure he doesn't see me. He just ordered something. The waiter brought him a burger and a soft drink, or something that looks like a mojito. I'm still here, under a tree, out of his sight. He's finished eating. He's paid. He's just left the bar. I'm following him. He's just gone inside a supermarket. Okay. I think I'm going crazy now. This guy looks exactly like me. Those of you who know what I physically look like, is it just me or you think so too? I lost him when I left the supermarket. I'm trying to find him. I can't find him. I'm going back to the hotel. I'm uploading a picture so that you can see the resemblance. I'm in my room. I don't know what to make of all this. Though it might seem incredible, there's something that disturbs me even more than finding someone who looks exactly like me. This area is small, and there's not really much to do. A beach, a few hotels, some houses, some bars, and a few supermarkets. Guess that's the charm of it. A place to come and relax for a few days. It's exactly what I was looking for when I came here. The other man, well, if you want to call him that, has been relaxing by the sea, eating a burger, and buying water. So, despite this place being small and having very little to offer, what are the odds of him doing exactly the same things I did when I arrived here? in the same order and going to the same places. I almost shat myself a minute ago. Still don't know who left the pencil in the bathroom, but at least I know what he was up to. You'd better see this with your own eyes. Toilet paper says you are in danger. I think it would have cracked me up if it wasn't for the fact that this proves that someone was in my bathroom. Though if I think about it, if someone wanted to leave me a message without anyone seeing it but me, there's no better place than this. And there's more. I enrolled it fully, and found this. I tried to put the words more or less in order, but as you can see it doesn't make much sense. It reminded me of how the tall man spoke when he entered my room, which makes me think that he wrote this. I'm going to try to put the words in order again to see if I can solve this riddle. Guys, thanks for sending me public and private messages to help me decode this puzzle. There were a bunch of you. Though some sentences could be ordered differently, this is more or less what it says. You are in danger. I can't be saved anymore, but you can. Go to the other room and stay there. This isn't a joke. I'm not going to lie, I didn't sleep well last night because of all this. Though the message said otherwise, I want to believe that someone is playing a very elaborate trick on me. And even if I took it seriously, what could I do? I'll be looking at the hotel map on the door, and if I count it correctly, this hotel has 192 rooms. 
without counting my room, which of the other 191 rooms is the other room? Even if I knew which room it was, how could I get in? I've been thinking about the message all morning, and if this isn't a joke, I could dare to say that there's actually two tall men. Tall man one would be the one who entered my room on Monday, and then came back to leave the message. Tall man two would be the one I found having breakfast, and then was staring at me from the walkway with the other man well. That would explain why he behaved differently when I spoke to him in the room and then later during breakfast. It was something out of the ordinary. Tall Man 1 was super nervous, and Tall Man 2 was a completely different person. He was so calm, repeating that everything was fine so many times that he gave me the creeps. The thing I can't explain is why there's two of them, and why they are identical. Also, why there's another man well wandering around here. I'm also worried about the state Tall Man 1 was in. He was so nervous, so out of his mind. And if he can't be saved anymore, but I still can, does that mean that what happened to him could also happen to me? This is getting to me. I'm going for a walk. Some of you mentioned that maybe the other room might be a room with the same number as my own. I didn't think of that. It would be a little strange if there were two rooms with the same number. But at this point, it is better to consider all options. Okay, I'm going to check the entire hotel. My room number is 328. Some of you ask why I'm staying in room 328 if there's only 192 rooms in this hotel. The hotel has four floors, with 48 rooms per floor. The first room on my floor is 301, and the last one is 348, and so on. Check the whole hotel but there is no other room 328. I also thought that the other room might be one that contained the same numbers, but in different order. It would kind of make sense. The only other combination of the same numbers available in this hotel is 238. Try calling the other room from my own. A German woman answered the phone. I could hear some kids in the background. I'm going to lie down for a bit. I'm tired. Didn't sleep properly last night. I just woke up, had a very odd dream. I fell into the sea. I'm not sure from where, and when I reached the shore, I started to walk towards my hotel. When I got to my room, I found someone there who looked exactly like me, so I left and walked home. This would be impossible, not only because it would take me days to get home, but also because there is a sea in between. When I got home, Manuel was already there. I went down to a bar, and the same thing happened again. There was another Manuel in that bar too. This particularly bothered me, as I go to that bar for breakfast every day. The situation repeated wherever I went. In the end, out of desperation, I decided to pick up the phone and call myself. Then I heard Chiquito de la Calzada on the other side of the phone saying, Things are pretty messed up. Phew. I'm glad that was a dream, because it was getting to me. I need to thank my mind for this. I assume that Chiquito was in the dream because I saw this gif when I was on Twitter before falling asleep. I think I'm spending the rest of the evening in my room. I might have seen the other man well. My room's terrace has views of one of the hotel's two pools, and one of the streets that surrounds it. I think he was there, standing in the street, looking at my terrace. I went to get my cell phone to take a picture of him, but the street was empty when I came out. He was there, near the red car. Fuck, I just saw him again. He is inside the hotel, next to the pool. I turned all lights off to make this video. I hope he didn't see me. I'm calling reception to let them know there's a suspicious guy next to the pool. I hope they send someone to check it. Shit. He's gone. Fuck. This is giving me the creeps. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I just made sure the terrace door and my room's door are properly locked. This is the last time I travel alone. Fuck. That was scary. They just called from reception. My heart was in my mouth when the phone rang. They said they'd been to the pool, but there was no one there. I told them that there was when I called. I'm going downstairs to show them the video. I'm back in the room. Though I insisted, they didn't seem to care much about the video. 
They said that it was probably the pool manager chlorinating the water, or another guest that was just passing by, that I shouldn't worry. I know that it's hard to tell which direction the guy is facing, but I swear he was looking at my room. If this is some kind of sick joke, and the perpetrator is reading this, I want it to stop now. Please. I'm still here. I want to thank those of you who reached out publicly and privately. I can't reply to all of your messages, but I'm trying to read them all. Thank you. It makes me feel less alone. I had trouble sleeping last night, so I thought a lot about all of this. I think it's time to do something about it. I don't know if what's happening to me is real, dangerous, or if it's just some sick joke. But whatever it is, I need to figure this out. Enough of staying locked up in my room. Going out there and I won't stop until I find the other man well or the tall man. When I do, I'll make sure they explain to me why they've been following me. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. But first, I'm going to have breakfast. Okay, so I just discovered something. I went to the beach and then walked around this whole area. I'm in a tourist area built on both sides of a road, surrounded by some mountains and a beach. From one extreme of this complex to the other, there must be a two mile walk. My hotel is located at one of the extremes, basically where the tourist area ends or starts just by the road. It's this one. Today, I walked to the other side of the complex and on the other side of the road, I found this. It's a hotel that looks exactly like mine. They could be a reflection of each other. I'm posting both pictures together so you can compare them. The first one is my hotel. The other picture is the other hotel. Maybe it's two hotels belong to the same chain. No, my hotel doesn't seem to belong to one. I'm in front of the other hotel. I'm going to ask the staff. That was weird. I talked to the receptionist. She was nice, but very cold too. She reminded me a lot of how Tall Man 2 behaved when I bumped into him during breakfast. She spoke in the same way. As if she was trying her best to seem human. I had to insist a lot because I couldn't manage to get a clear answer. Just smiles and a, please don't worry, everything is fine. As much as I told her about the similarities between this hotel and the other in which I'm staying, that was the only thing she would say. I'm going back to my hotel to ask the receptionist the same questions. I spoke to a few members of staff in the reception in my hotel. They say that they're not aware of the existence of an identical hotel in this area. I asked them to come with me so that I can show them. They gave me a weird look and said that they couldn't do so, that I should come back later. I don't think they have taken me seriously. I can't blame them. They probably know me as that crazy fucker or something. That's what I would think if I was them. Whatever, I don't know. What's pretty evident is that the other room must be room 328 in the other hotel. Or at least that's the most logical explanation I can think of right now. I'm going there, but I don't want to jump the gun. First, I'm going to think of what I'm going to do once I get into that room. A lot of you asked why I don't just forget about all this and go home. It's mostly because I know myself. I need to know what's going on, or I will become even more obsessed with this whole thing. I'm at the bar in my hotel. I think that the easiest way to deal with this is to stay calm. I'll go to the other room, knock on the door, and if there's someone there, I'll speak with them. I'll ask them to explain to me what's going on. And if there's no one there, at least I have the card for my own room. Like some of you said, maybe it's the card that opens the other room 328. If this happens, I'm not really sure what I'll do once I'm inside. But maybe I'll find out why I should go there. Now I just need to find the strength to do this. I promise you, it's not easy. I'm gonna order another beer. Okay, I'm going there. My legs are shaking, but I'm going there. I'm by the entrance of the other hotel. I'm going inside. Everything is the same as in my hotel, but the other way around. This pool in my hotel goes out this way, but to the right.
This is the other pool. It's identical to the one I see from my room in the other hotel, but the other way around. To reach my room, I'd need to go this way and up the stairs at the end. Fuck, fuck. My heart is pounding at full speed. I'm going back to my hotel. I'll explain everything in a minute. Pfft. Right, so, I entered the room. You saw that. I must have been out of my mind, because before using my card, I wanted to try knocking on the door first. Whatever, N never mind. The thing is that it actually worked. The card that opens my room also opens the other room 328. I tried to find the light switch, but failed. Since everything is the other way around, I got a bit disoriented. Then I thought I heard someone breathing. I'm not sure if you could tell in the video. I'm typing as I walk. I asked, hello? As you might have heard, and then a light was turned on at the end. That made me shit myself. I started running, and this is what happened after the video stopped. When I reached the corner of the corridor, I turned around, and the other man well was there, standing underneath the door frame, looking at me. He looked truly mad. He started running towards me, so I beat it. He chased me through the hotel all the way to the hall. When I left the hotel, I turned around again. He was standing in the middle of the hall, looking at me. He was truly mad. I carried on running towards my hotel, at a slower pace because he wasn't following me anymore. Also because I'm in terrible shape. <laughs> Fuck. I can't believe he didn't manage to catch me before getting to the hall. If I manage to stay alive, I promise I'll enroll at a gym. I'm back in my room. This is getting to me. My return flight is on Monday, but I'm going to try to change it, or buy a new one for tomorrow. I don't care anymore about finding out what's happening. I'm starting to fear for my life. I just bought a return flight for tomorrow morning at 8. I'm packing my stuff now. I read some of your comments about my decision to go back home. I understand your disappointment for not getting to the bottom of this, but what would you do if you were in my shoes? I'm truly scared. I checked the bus timetable for the next bus to the airport, and even if I took it, it would be too tight. I just did the checkout. I requested a taxi. I'm in the taxi. It won't take me very long to get to the airport. I'll have to spend the night there until the departure of my flight but I prefer that to staying overnight at the hotel. Got all my stuff with me except for the t-shirt I lost. The other Manuel was still wearing it when he was following me. Just the thought of it gives me the creeps. I also carry with me the pencil I found in the hotel bathroom. I've been carrying it all this time and it's become an amulet for me. I wish I had understood Tall Man 1 when he first showed up in my room. I have the feeling that none of this would have happened otherwise. I also think that he tried to warn me the best he could about the danger I was in. I think about it a lot. Shit. I just realized something. I'm at the airport. Yesterday I ran out of battery and couldn't find a place to charge my phone until I got to the boarding gate. I was in the middle of saying something. I forgot a bun that I bought for breakfast at the hotel. It would be good if I had it now. The cafes at the airport are closed. Though, to be honest with you, when I was doing the check-in, something happened that killed my hunger straight away. The person in charge of printing my ticket asked about my travel partner, but I said I was traveling alone. She said that it must be an error. There were two seats booked. 
one next to the other, both of them in the name of Manuel Bartual. I truly want to believe that it was a mistake. Okay, here I go. I've been sitting here for a while and the seat next to me is empty. I hope it stays like that until the plane takes off. Hurry up, please, please. Man, I think I'm gonna die here. We're taking off. We just landed. We were a bit delayed, but the flight was fine. I can't wait to get home. I don't think I've ever been happier to go through these doors. Just took another taxi. I want to be home as soon as possible. I hadn't realized how much tension I had accumulated until now that I'm sitting in this car. It makes me feel better that I'll soon be home, away from this nightmare. Guess I'll never know exactly what happened, but one thing I know for sure, I will never forget this vacation. No, fuck, no. This can't be happening. I don't think this is over yet. When I got to my building, the doorman greeted me saying, Oh, you came back earlier than I expected. I replied that it wasn't so early, that I'd been away for a week. He gave me a strange look. He said that no, that I'd just been there. That I asked him to keep something for me and give it to me when I returned. This. I'm home. I'm going to open it. W. T. F. Text says, stop writing. This ends tonight. Everything is fine. Is this a sick joke? If so, I want it to stop now, please. I went downstairs to speak to the doorman about the person that gave him this parcel. He didn't understand my question. He said that I gave him the parcel myself a few minutes before showing up again. This is so fucked up. That's even my handwriting. I, I could have written it myself. I'm gonna go for a walk around the neighborhood. I don't feel safe at home anymore. I've been walking around and I started to feel a bit overwhelmed. Even though it's the end of August, it still looks pretty empty. I don't feel comfortable walking alone in the street anymore. I ended up coming to the bar where I eat breakfast every day. At least there are some people here. Right, so I've been thinking. There must be a logical explanation for all this. Maybe I have an identical twin. And so does the tall guy. Maybe we were separated at birth, and by some highly improbable coincidence, we bumped into each other at the hotel where we were spending our vacation. Maybe our identical twins are very, very, very mad at us for something we're not aware of. That would explain their shitty attitude. Or maybe it has to do with drugs. I can't stop thinking the tall man one is on my side. But if he wasn't, I bet that when he got in my room, he was on something. 
Maybe he was a junkie looking for a fix. Perhaps the previous guests left the drug hidden in my room and that was what he was looking for. Or maybe him and the other Manuel wanted to scare me so that I would leave the room. But if that's the case, then I don't understand why the other Manuel followed me all the way here. Or why he looks so much like me. Though I tend to think rationally, maybe I should be open to other possibilities. For instance, they might want to steal my identity. Maybe someone or something in that other hotel creates identical copies of the guests of the hotel I spent a week in. Then they try to replace us. Maybe that's why Tall Man 1 tried to warn me. In that case, I can't understand why. I would be saved if I stayed in the other room. One thing I'm sure about is that the other Manuel hated seeing me there. Or maybe they're aliens. Or clones. Or what do I know? Maybe time travel exists. Maybe I've been seeing my future self. Maybe it's me in a different dimension. Or maybe it's some ghosts and enchanted hotel kind of shit. This last one seems unlikely. Maybe I've just gone crazy without realizing it. We can't dismiss any option. They just finished preparing the Spanish omelette sandwich I ordered. I'm going upstairs to eat it. It's late. Fuck. Fuck. He is here. The other man will. He's in the street, underneath my window. I saw him while I was eating my sandwich. Fuck. He's good. I went to get my charger, and he's gone. He's not there anymore. I can't take this anymore, I'm going to the police. There was a really long line at the police station, and one would think they were giving gifts out for free or something. It wasn't a good idea going there. I explained everything that happened to me, showed them the videos and the pictures I have, and they were giving me strange looks while I was telling them everything. As soon as they called the hotel, it was clear that they weren't going to leave me. They wanted to check my story with the hotel reception. It's pretty evident that they don't have a good opinion about me there. I even told them that I was going to rate them five stars before leaving. For a moment, I thought that the police were going to arrest me. But in the end, they let me go. So I came back home. And something strange happened. The lock to get into my flat is like the one you can see in the picture. I need a key to open it. So if I need a key to get in, why do I have the feeling that I use the card to let myself in? This is pretty weird. Not only is it impossible, but I also left the card at the hotel reception before I left. This is getting to me. Maybe I shouldn't have left the hotel. I think I won't solve anything here. I have to go back to the hotel. Right, I'm ready. I just paid a fortune for a flight back that leaves in two hours, but at least I'll be able to fly tonight. I hope to get there before the other men will. I'm taking for granted that he will be there sooner or later. My idea is to go straight to room 328 of the other hotel and stay there, just like the message on the toilet paper said. I no longer have the car to let myself in, but I'll knock down the door if I have to. I'll eat something on the way there to gain some strength. Just call the taxi, it's on its way. I'm off to the airport. This is going to sound weird, but I can't find the door. I mean, that it's not where it should be. There's only a white wall instead. What's going on here? trying to find the door, but this is only making me feel more worried. Something is going on here. Everything is like, I don't know, as if the spaces have been redistributed. The living room looks a lot, it looks a bit bigger, but smaller at the same time. The corridor looks longer now, the bedrooms aren't where they should be, and the windows have disappeared. Hold on. I think I could see something at the end of the room. I think it's a window. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. It's the hotel pool. From my window, you can see the hotel pool. I, I'm reading your comments and I don't get it. Can't you see the pool? It's right there. I just heard a noise. I think there's someone else here. I think it's the other man well. I can hear him breathing in his footsteps too. Uh, I managed to hide myself. In, well, I, I don't really know where I'm hiding anymore. 
I don't understand the physics of the room I'm in. It seems to be moving continuously. I don't know what to do. I just wanted to take some days off. Disconnect a little, eat some buns. What does the other Manuel want from me? To kill me? Replace me? What do I have that he could possibly want? I don't even have that many Twitter followers. Shit. I think he saw me. We just had a fight. He jumped on me and for a moment. I thought that he was going to kill me right here. He's so heavy. We beat the shit out of each other on the floor until I managed to escape. I don't know where I got the strength to push him off and knock him down. I tried to escape, but he grabbed me by the leg. We beat the shit out of each other on the floor until I managed to escape. I don't know where I am, but this is not my flat. Or at least, not fully my flat. I managed to lock myself in the bathroom, but this isn't exactly my bathroom. It's something in between my bathroom and the hotel bathroom. Something weird is going on. My whole body hurts. The walls are moving, changing. I'm in the bathroom of room 328. I think I can't be saved anymore. But at least I can let the next guest know so that he doesn't go through all this. I have the pencil with me. I just need something to write on. Here. I'm exhausted, sitting on the floor. I left him a note in the toilet paper and put it back. I hope the other man well doesn't find it. I hope the next guest sees it and does as I say. I can hear footsteps. The other man well is on the other side of the door. He opened the door and he's right there, looking at me, standing still. I don't know what he's waiting for. Why doesn't he get it over with? I'm not sure if anyone is reading this anymore. Suddenly I can't see your comments. I wish I'd never come to this hotel. I wish I'd done as I was told before escaping the hotel from. Maybe then saved have been I could. Thanks everything for. Your help without sooner men well finished off me the other would have. About no doubt that I have. Hello? Hello. Thanks for reading until here. I never imagined this response. I just wanted to tell a fun story. It was all made up. I don't have a doppelganger. I was on vacation with my girlfriend and a kid. My girlfriend took the pictures and made the videos. Pencil was one of my son's pencils. In fact, we weren't even staying at that hotel. It was just a couple of pictures I took of a random hotel. I'm sorry if this is disappointing. I apologize if anyone was worried about me. You have nothing to fear. You shouldn't believe everything you read on the internet. And please, don't worry about me. Everything's fine. The end. And that's the end of the doppelganger story from Manuel Bartual, uh, a Spanish screenwriter who also draws comics. He's written for El País and on Twitter, for example. Obviously, this is how we found this story. Um, and this this particular one is also known as um, Everything is Fine. But um, because it obviously kind of got exploded out of proportion and he had to kind of put the brakes on it really to kind of reassure everybody. But he ended up making it into a novel, also known as El Otro Manuel, which is interesting because I'd, uh, I'd like to read the book and see if there's any proper changes or, you know, see how the rest of the story might have played out. But thank you very much for watching. If you, uh, you can also follow Manuel Bartuel on Twitter here. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. Happy Halloween, everybody.